So in this video, we're going to have a look at how KineSense works with Milestone. Milestone is a VMS, a video management software solution that helps you manage large numbers of cameras. So it provides access to IP cameras and helps you manage and control those. So a lot of customers um, use Milestone to do this and KineSense has as a result integrated with Milestone so that these same customers can make use of our video investigation uh, solution KineSense LE in order to automatically search video, uh, report on video and do things like redact faces and so on. So in this video, we're going to have a look at how that works. So essentially what you need is a plugin from KineSense LE that will enable you to access the Milestone server in order to select your video and import it into KineSense LE. So um, you need to contact us if you are um, a Milestone customer and you would like this facility and it will be displayed to you um, in the video import wizard. So when you go to the add remove tab and you click on add video, up will pop your wizard. And there is a window called VMS. So this is for the integrations which we have done with other VMS providers. And for Milestone, if you have the plugin enabled, you'll see that it's listed there. So we can simply click on Milestone and it will bring us to um, the various ways in which you can pull video in from a Milestone solution into KineSense LE. So one of the first ways that you can do this is logging directly into the Milestone server. So um, what you need to do here is you need to click on this option and enter the server address where the milestone server is, so the IP address. Um, and also you'll need obviously authorization to do so, so you need to enter in details like your name and the password to connect to that. Another option is to actually pull in the video from existing databases. So the milestone solution stores um, databases in, in a different, different ways. So um, one of those ways is XPE databases or files. So this is the second option which you can, you can choose and you just click on this option, press login, find that particular um, database location and start to um, select your videos for importation. And the same goes for XPCO files. So um, this is just another structure. Um, what will often happen is it'll bring up a list of cameras that are actually in the Milestone server database and you can then select which cameras you actually want to import from and of course the time and date um, which you want to import. So that's quite important. So um, as you can see here now, what will happen is the video will start to import into KineSense um, and be displayed on the review timeline as standard. So it can be very quick to import um, the video. Um, it really depends on the resolution and the frame rate of the milestone video and how it's, it's stored. However, in this particular example, we quickly imported three hours of video in approximately 10 minutes. So really, really quick and easy. This covers not just the importation time, but also, of course, uh, the analysis time, uh, which is probably why you want to use KineSense LE in the first place. So also important to note that if you just have milestone files, exported files, um, these can be in a variety of different formats as well. You can import them in using the standard KineSense import mechanisms for files, either single or multiple sequential file importation. So once the video is imported in, it's going to display to you on the KineSense review timeline. You can then do the things that you want to do, like search the video to find key events. 
So you can make use of our event detection algorithms to jump from event to event. You can make use of searching by color or even by direction. Um, and even our advanced analytic uh, packages like face detection and recognition. So it also allows you to um, do reports as normal, take clips and so on. All the features and functions that you're familiar with in Kinesense LE. So one kind of important function or feature that customers, milestone customers particularly interested in is video redaction. So this is the ability to blur or um, redact faces or other sensitive information within the video. So again, these functions are part of the Kinesense LE package and you can perform those. So we're not covering how to do all those extra Kinesense LE functions today. And um, there are a number of other how-to videos within the Kinesense LE help menu and available online for customers to show them how they can search video, make reports, redact video, and so on. So um, please contact us if you don't have access to these and you would like to learn more.